Hello and welcome back to my channel. A few weeks ago I did an unboxing for this Boken Everyday Essentials diaper bag and I want to show you a packing video and review on this bag. I've had it for a little over a month and I've been carrying it pretty consistently so I just wanted to tell you what I thought about it, how I've been using it, and also show you how it packs up. Now the reason why I bought this, as I mentioned in my unboxing video, is because I needed something that was big, especially for places like the zoo or vacation, you know, that kind of thing. I needed something that had different carrying options and I also needed something that Mike will carry. I don't think he's ever carried any of our diaper bags just because he doesn't want to carry something that is looking a little girly. And let's be honest, a lot of my diaper bags are pretty girly. So this was very like unisex, I guess you could say. And um, I showed it to him on the website before I bought it and he agreed that he would carry it. So let's just hope that happens when the time comes. But uh, this, like I said, is the Boken Everyday Essentials bag. I will leave all of the information about this below so you can check out their website. Uh, but it is just a very basic, like, um, nylon ripstop fabric. And it's really thin, it's very light on its own, um, and I, I like how durable it feels and how durable it's been so far. So I'm just gonna take you on a little tour here. On the very front, there are these two zipper pockets. This one's pretty small. You can see how deep it is right there. And then there's one that's a little bit deeper here. There are tote straps on it that hit me at the perfect length. And I'll show you some on the body videos um, at the end of this video. There's also a messenger strap that you can remove or put on. It's adjustable so you can wear it um, crossbody or messenger style, if you could call it that. Anyway, <laughs> I'll show you. There's a really big mesh pocket right here on the side. <clears throat> there are backpack straps. And this is, like I said, one of the um, most important things on this bag, I have to have a backpack style bag right now. Just It just makes my life a lot easier. These backpack straps are very, very thin. I don't know if you can even see, um, but they're mesh and a lot more comfortable than I thought they would be. One cool thing about these backpack straps is that they attach right here. So if you don't want the backpack straps, you could just take them off well, detach them down here and stick them in this big back pocket right here, okay? But I like to keep them attached. <laughs> That's just how I like it. We've got some backpack straps here. Like I said, the big Velcro pocket back here. And there's a really large, it's a string from what is inside. Ugh. Anyway, there's a big Velcro pocket right here. I've seen people put Camelback bottles in here, so it is pretty large. And on the top, this is the main zipper that opens up really, really big. Now, something that I didn't realize until I had it for a couple of weeks is that right here, there's some casing um, for an elastic like cord in here, like a little bungee cord in there. And I was thinking it would be really cool if there was like a like a, it was kind of like a drawstring, so you can make it, you know, small. But um, yeah, I like that that's there, so you could really, really stuff this. And I have this packed for like a full day out someplace, which I don't. We don't go to a lot of places where it's <laughs> where I need to pack a full diaper bag because I do keep a lot of things in the car. Um, so let's go ahead and jump right in. I will show you what is in all of the pockets in the front here. All I keep in this pocket are my um, icebreakers cinnamon mints. And I have my GGB coin purse in the flower power print. And in here I keep my essential oils. These are really the only ones I ever go anywhere with, but I have my deep relief, my Valor roll on, my Digize roll on, and essential oil samples. This is uh, peace and calming, lavender, thieves, and peppermint. So just have those in case somebody wants to try them. 
In this pocket, I actually only have two pens. I like to have those at the ready in case I need them because I need them a lot. <laughs> This is usually where my phone and my sunglasses go. Right now I have sunglasses, but my phone is currently in use right now. To go around to the back, I have my small planner. This I don't decorate this one or anything. It's just kind of an on the go type of thing. Yeah. And I also have this little notebook. I need to write something down. In this pocket that I showed you a minute ago, all I keep in here is a reusable shopping bag and it needs to be clipped. It has little strings. So I'm just gonna put that to the side and fix that. Now into the main part of the bag. I'm gonna open the big zipper. And this bag does not have much internal organization at all. So I can have to use a lot of smaller bags and pouches. The thing that I like about that is that I could take whatever I don't need out and it's just very easy. This pocket back here is actually, if you remember my unboxing video, the bag that the bag came in. It will actually fold in on itself and fit in this back pocket right here. In this back pocket, I keep my travel pack of Norwex EnviroCloths. I have, I think four EnviroCloths in here and one window cloth. <clears throat> along with my water spray bottle. So that's all that I keep in that back pocket just because that's something that I need really quickly. <laughs> now in the main part, I'm just gonna start pulling stuff out because there's really no organization, uh, no pockets or anything. Well, there's one, but I'll show you. Uh, this is my diaper ring quick. You've probably seen this, woo, in all or most of my videos. This is a Jujube Be Quick in the Shadow Waltz print. And in here, this is just all my diapering needs. I have a disposable diaper. I have two cloth diapers, a change pad, and uh, a wet bag. And this right here is just a, I don't know where I got this, maybe the dollar store. Hi, baby. Hi, Brayden. And I just put the kids' toys um, and activities in here. There's crayons, play packs, little, coloring books, that type of thing. It fits perfectly in this bag and I love it. <laughs> this is just a bag I got at Target and this is restaurant needs and snacks. Um, yeah, a bib, some fruit pouches, their silverware, that type of thing. I also have my MediBuddy. You've seen this again in all or most of my videos. It's a small med kit with band-aids, some fingernail clippers, stickers, um, alcohol preps, and you're sporing. You stickers. Filming with kids. This is life. <laughs> and in the very bottom, I know it's so hard to see because it just, <laughs> this bag has no structure. <clears throat> I have my Planet Wise wet bag, wet dry bag, and in here I have <clears throat> a Mama Cloth maxi pad and a panty liner because you never know. That's all I have in the main part of the bag. <laughs> it's hard to see. Toward the front, there is like a mesh elastic pocket right here. And this is where I keep all my stuff. And first of all, I have this roomy bag. You may have seen these on Facebook. Again, it's, it's just a simple nylon fabric. This is where you pay $5 shipping and they send you the bag for free when I don't know, I probably pay five or less for this bag, but it's just a good multi-purpose bag. It has three zippers on here, and I don't keep anything. Oh, just kidding. I do have my healer tin from Perfectly Posh in the front. In this metal one, I have a nail file, my little matchbook of nail files, and my Tylenol. And in here is just all the stuff for me. I have a granola bar, this Soap and Glory hand food. Eh, it's all right. Another granola bar, a mirror, floss. You know me, I always take floss with me. I have this Soft Lips Lip Cube. I got it for free with a coupon and jury is out on it. My phone charger, Wow Green stain pen, some sunscreen for all of us and a sharpie and the last thing I have in here the last two things 
my long and short strap for my Jujube B major. And last but not least is my Jujube B major. This is my wallet. I love it. Yeah, I love it. I should do a review on this. I've been meaning to do that for a while. Um, I don't want to show you what's in my wallet, but I do still want to talk about this wallet because it's awesome. So that is everything in the bag. As you can see, when there's nothing in it, it just kind of bleh, flops um, in on itself. There is a giant change pad that comes with this, but I don't use it. Um, so yeah, but it's, it's really, really big and perfect if you need a big change pad for your baby. So now what I'm going to do is pack this back up and put it on me so you can see how it fits. Okay, here I am wearing the Bogan Essentials diaper bag crossbody. To give you some reference, I am five foot six and about 115 pounds. And it's not the most comfortable to wear crossbody, but that's really not my favorite way to wear bags. You can see where it hits me. I can make it longer, shorter, but this is about where it is the most comfortable for me. And here I am wearing it on my shoulder. Um, definitely not my favorite way <laughs> to wear this bag, but it works. And here I am wearing it with the tote straps. Again, this, is, this part is not adjustable, but uh, it is at a really comfortable length on my body. But as you know, I'm a backpack girl, so let me show you what it looks like with the backpack straps. <laughs> Here I am wearing it with the backpack straps. These are adjustable. And this is the most comfortable way for me to wear it. Um, it surprised me how much I have this bag packed. Sorry guys, I know it's loud. And how comfortable it is with these super duper thin straps. But I like the way the bag looks when it's on my back. Okay, so what are my thoughts on this bag? This is not a bag that I would carry on a regular basis. Um, a couple reasons. One, I don't need that much for my kids now. So I kind of get on with a smaller bag. Uh, I just don't need as much as I used to. That being said though, the older my kids get, the more activities they need. So I'm not packing as much like baby stuff as I am bigger kids stuff. So it's kind of a weird stage in the whole diaper bag process, but this is definitely a bag I would pack pretty full for a full day out, like not coming home where we need everything possible. But also, I don't like how it doesn't have that much internal organization. That's definitely something that I don't like about it. But like I said earlier, this is not a bag I need on a regular basis, so that's really okay. This is also something my husband will carry, which is a huge, huge, huge thing. I like how it is unisex. It's not crazy um, diaper bag looking. We will use this for long after our diaper bag days are over, because it is just a good basic backpack. I will have to say, it is kind of like just a glorified backpack. That was probably a little bit too expensive. There may be some other options out there, but I'm liking this for now. Again, not a regular bag for me, but definitely good for those times when we're out for a long period of time, vacation, that type of thing. Also, you can see that it folds in on itself. So that is really awesome for travel. So I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope it helped you out if you were considering getting the Boken bag. Be sure to give me a thumbs up if you liked it and subscribe if you would like to see more because I have more diaper bag videos coming up soon. Thank you again for watching and have a great day. Bye.